so i have watched a lot of videos on cryptocurrency and blockchain and as much as they try to break it down and explain i feel they give out too much information that at the end of the day most people leave without getting the point or understanding how it actually really works i've had a few people reach out to me asking me if i have an idea of how cryptocurrency or the blockchain work and in the light of this i'll be dropping a two minutes series titled i define money weekly basically in the series i define money i'll be sharing with you my knowledge on the blockchain how the whole technology itself works and what kind of technology it is and other areas where it can be applied before you start investing in crypto which is the most talked about topic on the blockchain most people tend to neglect the blockchain itself as the base of everything then we also talk about the nfts and every other thing concerning the blockchain technology as a whole we all know that tech evolves to solve problem as my friend would say the world is divided into three sets of people the politicians the business businessman and the scientist. Now, the scientist locates a problem, find a solution to it, the businessman markets that solution, then the government regulates the usage and distribution, making the government the largest shareholder. And the scientist found a problem with this. Now, this is not the first time that someone has tried to create a digital money. Now, if person A, who creates digital coin X, gifts himself $1 million just for the fun of it and because, okay, I created this thing, I can gift myself this, all of this will result in what we call double spending. David Shum first proposed the idea of blockchain in 1982. Then in 1991 and 1992, Dave Bayer, Stoneter and Heber incorporated this into their company Shorty to help them increase efficiency by allowing them to collect several document certification in one single block. And in 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto, which could have been a single person or a group of person, created the first decentralized blockchain. And in 2009, the design was implemented as the core component of cryptocurrency, where it can be used as a ledger to record every transaction done on the network. Now, what is blockchain? Blockchain, before it became blockchain, is a decentralized way of storing information where you cannot cheat the system or change anything it is built on a peer-to-peer -peer network now simply put blockchain is a kind of storage that is built on the computing power of multiple devices instead of a server sitting somewhere which makes it a distributed ledger technology so basically when a transaction happens on the blockchain imagine it to be a blackboard where you use a permanent marker to write on and you can't clean off you can't change anything so this means you're chaining the block of transactions together which cannot be damaged or altered now what other sectors can this technology be applied to money transfers for instance this will enhance the speed at which money is sent also reducing the transaction fee to any part of the world can also be applied to financial exchanges lending real estate personal information nfts that's the non-fungible to tokens government benefits voting data storage gambling artist royalties secure internet of everything and a lot of other things so block, uh, cryptocurrency and nft is actually a small part of the blockchain so in throughout this video we'll be talking more on what the blockchain is and can do so is there anything you learned from this video, um, two minutes video, that was actually not two minutes, it was more than two minutes, but thank you for hanging with me to this point. Is there, if there's anything you learned from this video and you feel someone else needs to see this, hit the like button and subscribe and do all the whole, whole YouTube thing that makes YouTubers happy. This is Tech Mayor. I will see you in the next one.